Greetings everyone, Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, May the 20th. And this uh, before us is the Windmills Pack by Ed's, Ed's Uh 7.68 megabytes to download and they are two, uh, two different, uh, well you see, they're windmills. Uh, one is a grain mill, actually, and the other one is a income generator. Um, as you can see, it's uh, kind of, well, it's pretty much the same as uh, the, the, the new style windmills, the power generator windmills. So, first of all, where do you find these? The grain one is under production and factories, and here it is, the grain mill it is uh, eight slots on console, seventy thousand dollars to purchase, and you can put uh, put it anywhere. It is a grain mill. Um, as you can see, we have the uh, little wrench here that we can go into the production chains. We have wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, and sorghum flour. Those are the recipes. There, we're going to turn them all on. And we're going to see uh, what kind of productions we speed we have with them all turned on. Uh, the, the recipes are all different, as you can see, 36 cycles per month, $24 a month. Uh, it does not give a monthly um, uh, maintenance for this. There may or may not be. Um, right, so, and when you turn it on... The windmill starts turning. Isn't that nice? Now, uh, input is here. It was very easy to put. As you can see, the tire tracks, um, the fill amounts, uh, it will, your pallets will appear here. Uh, of course, the fill amounts were 100,000 liters each of each type of grain. Now, the power generator. That one you will find, whoops, not there, under production and generators. And there it is, $50,000 to put down, seven slots each. You can put them down wherever you like, as long as you own the land. And uh, the website, uh, the description says uh, $2,000 uh, per hour income. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll see if that's, we'll see, we'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on that and an eye on that. And we're going to go ahead uh, one one month or one, I haven't said set one day per month. So we're going to go ahead one month and see what happens. We'll see in a bit. All right, so we're back. And oddly enough, it showed, oh, well, we don't have a whole lot of capacity for the uh, outgoing products to store obviously uh, 30,000 liters only so we got uh, the spawn point filled up as you can see yeah and um, and uh, we've run out of space for storage so that's a little disappointing that it only stores 30,000 liters uh, of course you can have it set to selling or distributing uh, and that would solve your storage product a, a problem if you had, say, somewhere to send it. As for the generator, if we look at our um, incoming, harvest income, no, uh, property income, we only got $4,900. So that does not sound like $2,000 per hour. Um we're at nine o'clock let's uh, speed time up and see what pops in our um, money thing after an hour four five uh, looks like two dollars an hour more like it so it went from three three seven oh seven three seven oh seven four so not two thousand dollars per hour Hmm. I don't know why we only got five grand. 
for a whole month, that would have been way more. I don't think it's, uh, yeah. Well, it's not $2,000 per hour, but, I mean, we should have got a whole bunch of money. Perhaps I'm looking at it wrong. Sold buildings, no. <clears throat> Property income. Well, it could have been, oh, there would, you know, it's only 5000 Dollars for August, September. Hmm. I wonder if it doesn't like the going ahead a month kind of thing. It might be. We're getting decent cash now per hour. Fast forwarding time, but if you sleep, it didn't seem to do much. Anyways, there are much better uh, income generators than uh, than that. But the. Uh, the flower looks like uh, the flower mill looks like it works as it should. Just the capacity is a bit low, and that's the windmills pack by Ed Zieziek. Seven point six eight megabytes to download, um, eight slots and seven on console. I'm Lonely Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now. Bye now.